All right, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on changing the clutch fluid in the 47 Hudson. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, here's the manual. I give you actually instructions if you want the uh, official instructions how to do this. Um, now, I, did, I was interested. Uh, it says you want to do a, until the star wheel is on the flywheel is aligned with the timing pointer at the timing inspection hole. I never found that star, so I'm not really sure where that's at. Maybe my flat mine's just too dirty, but it also calls for a third... I'm sorry, uh, a third of a pint of Hudsonite clutch fluid. I went to the Google machines and found out that a third of a pint is about 5.33333333333 fluid ounces. And my handy dandy clutch fluid right here has six fluid ounces. So I'm guessing with the residue in a can and how much you spill into a funnel and spill all on the ground, that six fluid ounces is all going inside the car. So we're hopefully 5.33333 fluid ounces going inside the car. So anyway, it's pretty easy. I just used a, uh, you know, a, like a foot long uh, extension with 11 sixteenths and a universal uh, to get the plug off. Now the trick is you really want to have the plug aligned with this rounded part right here of the hole that'll help you get a square fit of your socket onto the onto the plug. Uh, and I still have a little plug, the old school uh, plunger on the solenoid, so I can just sit right here and turn the engine over and get it to where I need it to be at. Uh, let me get, so that's the other plug. There's two of them on here. Uh, now I don't know which one I was supposed to use. I'm guessing they're the same thing. They're just two different spots. But uh, like I said, I couldn't find the mark that it was talking about on the flywheel, so I just was kind of guessing. So basically, I, I, I took one plug out, ran it to the bottom of its travel, so it's at the bottom of the engine, drained it out into a pan, and now I'm basically going to come back around, uh, rig up a little funnel and tube deal, because obviously that's not too easy to get to. Um, not easy to just fill that in so it'll be a little bit of fun doing that without spilling stuff but uh so yeah that's pretty much all it is and i'm gonna put the plug back in um and call it good once i put all the fluid in there now i already drained this and as you can see from that picture right there the fluid looks pretty black um and when i've drained it this is all i got and obviously that's not 5.3333333 fluid ounces of clutch fluid so i have a leak or I didn't put enough in there or something happened when I did it over the winter and she smells pretty burnt too so hopefully I didn't burn up my clutch trying to get it to work um, but I'm afraid I might have uh, so then I'll be doing a video on how to remove the clutch <laughs> but hopefully that's not, not necessary but anyway I just thought I'd do a real quick uh, short video on how this is done I'll put the plug back in there after she's full and uh, see how she runs or hopefully she moves that's the idea uh, you guys have any questions or any other tidbits you want to share please do other than that, thanks.